like and thank you for stopping by the channel. Uh, we're going to have a little discussion today about uh, clamps. Um, I just recently purchased some of these new design fireball tool clamps and we're going to have a discussion about that and uh, a lot of other clamps. Um, one thing I just want to mention, I don't, I bought these. Um, I don't know the price variance between I'd mention that between these and standard vice grip clamps, something you guys should do your homework. Hey, I'm just a flat out tool nut. I saw Jason uh, design these and was selling them, and uh, didn't matter what they cost, I had to buy them. Okay, hey, let's get on with the show, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. Well, as I said in the introduction, we're going to talk about clamps. And uh, here we have the new clamps that are designed by Fireball Tools. Um, this is not a sponsored uh, review. I bought these, uh, I think it's 70 bucks for two of, the, two of each, two of the smaller ones and two of the larger ones. Um, honestly, I haven't got to use them that much yet, other than take them out of the packages and play with them. But... I'm going to show you a little bit of a hack that I did also using these. Um, but uh, just for uh, like a review, um, here's your typical vice grip, basically the same size as this one, and three and a half inches. The vice grip bites on the three and a half inches. That's about as large as it'll go. And the fireball does the same thing. Oh, you know, loosen it actually a little bit. Locks down nice. So fit and feel of the clamp is nice. This offset jaw design is pretty unique. Like I said, I haven't got to use it enough yet. Their trigger release is uh, finger safe compared to the vice grip where you push the other direction. And you get used to the vice grips, they work well. But fit and, fit and finish between the two. Um, this one feels more a little more like stamped steel, which it probably is. Maybe they both are. The vice grip just has a more um, I don't want to put it. Um, old school tooling feel, I guess. I don't know. Um, the the mechanism for tightening the jaws has this tail on it. Uh, in Jason's review that he did, he was talking about when you're wearing gloves that it's much easier to get to this guy and adjust it does have a stop nut on it compared to the knurled nut on the uh, on the vice grips. It'll be interesting to use these side by side uh, in doing a project and uh, see if I like the tail or not. Um, right now I really can't put a, uh, a comment against it, uh, forward or against it. The other thing that the Fireball has is an adjustable anvil on this side, um, which I'm going to show you what I, I, the idea I came up with with this. So um, the small set, same thing, nice little unit. Um, I did notice, I don't know if you can see this, that the smaller set seems to have a little bit of slop in it. Um, compared to the larger set. Let me close the larger set down. So the larger set has a little bit of slop in it, but I don't know that that slop is that much of an indication of an issue when you're, when you're basically clamping on larger items. Um, the tail, so I'm adjusting the tail right there, and I, I will admit that is make it a little simpler to uh, 
to uh, make the modification in the, in the jaw depth. The offset, of course, Jason has shown that, that it, it gives you much more space. Close this down again. Again, I'm using the uh, tail. Ah, clamp on it. It does give you much more space uh, to reach in to weld. A little bit better than the, uh, the vice grips. So, all in all, the value, um, I've got to use them more. I think there's a lot of merits to the, uh, what Jason, uh, how he designed these. Jason's a, a very smart, creative fellow, and uh, I would trust his uh, opinion in uh, discussion about it. The, the, the jaw movement bugs me a little bit, i got to be honest. But time will tell. Got to play with them. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of variety of clamps that I have. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know we're going to we're going to look at some vice grips. The uh, your, tip, your typical vice grips, of course, is another type of clamp. But um, let me show you a little issue I had, and we'll talk about. Had I thought about it, these would have uh, these would have worked well. This is a little hanging bracket that I'm making for my tooling cabinet, and you'll see a video on it. And I, I had to machine these little parts with a slot so that it would slide onto the guide inside the cabinet. This is going to be creating a rail. And I had to weld these little tabs on here. Uh, where's another one? So here's, here's one I did. When I was first uh, doing it real quick, I didn't want to break out the TIG, and so I was actually using my MIG gun on it. Well, to hold these, to hold this little piece, let's see if uh, you, can get, so you can see the slot there. So I really only have this one little area here. So what I was doing was at the edge of my bench, I was, uh, where'd that, where'd it go? Hang on. It's right here. I never put anything away. <laughs> so I was basically butting this up against this piece of metal so I could get this guy placed. And then, I was using, I uh, can't think of the doggone name of these guys. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's like, uh, I can't think of the name, but you guys know what they are. But I was basically, basically using this to hold, hold the piece onto the edge of the metal right there. I would pull, I would pull my bar away. And then at the edge of the table, I was side welding to get that guy there. I managed to do it, I'd get it tacked, and then I could turn and then I could turn and then weld on the top. Got it done, works fine, it's nice and strong. But once I started playing with Jason's uh, units here, the grips, I thought, well heck, rather than the hex head bolt there, which is the landing for it. What if you went to a smaller die? So now you can push on a much more precise area when you close. I went, hmm, that, that's a pretty good idea there, Charlie. So here's a little proof of concept. This is the smaller one, the smaller clamp. And you can see I've got a very small pin set up on the end of the bolt and it allows me to hold it right there and basically have the ability to go ahead and weld that without anything in my way. I could set this in, a, in the vise, I could set it in a mag hold in it, lots of various ways to do it. And these, you could make these pins in any kind of size or whatever you wanted to do. So I thought that was kind of a, uh, 
a nice hack on uh, his tool design here. I think it would be helpful. The If I have to have a complaint about something, <laughs> uh, is that Jason opted to have these, this thread is a metric thread on both of these. It's not an imperial thread. I do have metric bolts, and so I was able to machine these. It would have been better for me. I do have some metric, but of course I have all sorts of imperial bolts. Imperial bolts would have been easier to create various hacks, um, but this works. This, you just got to have your supply of metric bolts to do it. So with that said, there's, uh, there's, how else could have I held this? Well, let me, uh, let me do a quick setup and we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. Well, as I said, I use basically whatever this guy's called. <laughs> peacock? That's not a peacock. Third finger? Third finger, maybe. Anyway, I opted to do it that way. My welder was right there. Now that I've been thinking about it, another method of holding these parts, these are the ones that are welded, but just showing you for an example, these are um, clamps. Where's the wrench for it now? Oh, it's right there in front of me, Charlie. Um, that now I'm stuck on the name of these. These are little clamps that are used in sheet metal. And I can't think of the damn name. You guys know what they are, right? Maybe if I hold one in my hand. Basically these guys that you use for sheet metal. And why can't I think of the name? Ah, anyway, that would have been one method. I could have got in there and welded. I probably would have torched my little clamp here though, which wouldn't have been nice. But that was one way I could have done it. Another way would be a small pair of vice grips and biting in there. And I do have some ability to reach in there. But again, Compared to how open that is, it's uh, this this method. I, I really like that. The one other uh, method. Okay, okay. I heard you guys yelling. Clecos, <laughs> Clecos. Come on, Charlie. Um, another method that I could have done it is basically with. A uh, small cant twist. So, like in anything, there's a lot of various ways to skin the cat. Um, but uh, I'm thinking this uh, this option has a lot of possibilities um, using the uh, new Fireball tool. So, um, I got more clamps to show you, though. Let's uh, let me pull those out, and we'll uh, go over those. I was just putting away the Clecos and I put my hands on these. There's there's one with a deep throat. So just shows you there's a lot of variety of these clamps that you can use with the Cleco pliers. Just wanted to throw that in. Well, in the discussion of clamps, of course we got vice grips, right? Been around forever. Heck of a nice tool. So here's a little hack. I've got a a pair that are, have large jaws, coated them with copper, and I got to tell you, these guys have been a savior many a times when I've had to grab onto something, and the copper protects what I'm biting on and not damaging it because the teeth on this are fairly aggressive. That's an that's a uh, little bit of a hack. Here's one with another pair of vice grips with. Uh, tape jaws. This is a, a double stick tape actually. It's very padded and again has uh, saved numerous things from getting tore up. Another set of vice grips that are set up for uh, set up for you know more of a sheet metal setup where you can bite on it and, and weld and things. And 
last one to show you. Here's a set of vice grips with a chain uh, chain tightening, so you can go around a pipe. If I can get it undone. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean, though. This hooks on, and you can clamp. So vice grips probably has more than this. Uh, lots of different methods of, of clamping. I got some more to show you though. So here's another vice grip product. Is this one vice grip? This is uh, it says DeWitt. No, oh, vice grip. It's a vice grip product. But uh, extended jaws. So 10 inch, uh, 10 inch jaws. And one set has the uh, swivel pads. The other one doesn't. Sometimes you want these without the pads. Sometimes you want the pads. I've got both and I got a few of these. Got more to show you. Now this is a uh, two different sizes, basically the same design of a vice grip. It's got a floating rear jaw. So it can come down and, and be very narrow. And the longest width here, this is a eh, nine and a half inch. And this big boy, this big boy is at about uh, 16 inches. So, again, gives you some uh, ability to clamp on larger and smaller pieces. Um, we're not going to get into C-clamps. Of course, i got a whole stack of C-clamps that I could pull out. But we're not going to get into C-clamps. But let me show you a couple more clamps. Now, if you want to really clamp something... These guys are the cat's meow. These are no fooling around. These are the diamide clamps. Diamide uh, uh, is the trademark and name of the company. They're made in USA. And you can use an impact wrench on these guys. And the clamping force is extreme. Both uh, the smaller version and the bigger version. Um, I've showed them in the past. I've used them. If you, if you want to clamp something and not have it move that's heavy, these guys are the bomb. Um, I, can't, I can't express how great these units are. They also have another unit that they came out with that is a little bit lightweight, a little bit smaller, and you can run it with a drill driver. And I got to tell you, this guy, it, uh, it's just so easy to do that and grab something and have a free hand. You're not holding on to the part. You're not holding on to the C-clamp and trying to twist it and everything else. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. The, if you look these up, they make... These, all these blocks and tips are adjustable, so, or replaceable, I should say. So that they, you can have pipe jaws in there. You can have extended jaws. They've come up with a variety of them. And I actually, I've fooled around and made them. I don't know where they're at. I've made some of them. They do provide you the uh, drawings. But basically, these just pop right out with a pin, and you can, and you can place them in other, in other locations. The other thing on the... On the bigger units, um, these are half inch holes, and so I've actually bolted them onto the face of my welding table. My welding table is drilled and tapped, so I can actually bolt it onto the welding table, and now I've got a, a sideways clamp to uh, bite things on. Can't say enough about them, they're heck of heck of nice tools. So, where does that leave us? We're not going to get into C clamps. We're not going to get into F clamps. Um, I think I'm clamped out here. Um, take you back to the, the fireballs um, just to close out. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten to spend a lot of time with them. Um, they have some very nice features and time will tell on how they work out. I, I do like my little hack idea and uh, we will see if I come up with some other ideas on that also. Again I guess you could you could uh, no different than the fireball 
you could design a piece here uh, with a V that holds a pipe and it clamps onto a pipe. Um, I think there's a lot of options here. Um, so let's, let's uh, close it out on that. Um, I'll be following up a video about the installation of these, uh, this rail on my tooling cabinet and that'll be coming up. Thanks again for uh, stopping by the channel. I hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, appreciate your time as always. Take care. Hey, like, subscribe, share, and comments are always, always welcome. Thank you, friends.